So to create space, first go to uh, Analyze, then click Space. Then here we go. Now what you see here, <coughs> this boundary you see here. So when we create a space, it should give me the whole boundary, not only this part. Because there is something which is forgotten, we check always. We need to put the boundary for the files. But if we don't have any boundary, if I click this space over here, it will become only small. But your our room boundary is surrounding in this area, or this room is over here. So before you create the space, what you need to do, press escape first, select the linked architecture file. If you cannot select, look, I can't select it. Why? Because it's already locked in this part. So I'll make unlock here. Then I can, I can select the architecture, then go to edit type, then you see here, room bounding, this you need to make it mark. So that anytime you create the space, it will show you which one is the boundary of the rooms. Then press OK. Alright, now I will create the space. Click space, have a look. Now it's coming. I will click here, I create one space, space 1. Over here also, same things. But if you do it here, you see place, space, automatic, you have also. If you have many rooms, just click space automatically, then it will create automatically for each division. So I'll create here also. Here, here, and here. <coughs> So we, how many spaces do we have? We have around six. Now, if you want to create another space in this area, in this part, or if you want to divide this part into two, now this one is the biggest one, actually, the space. So we have another option called space separator over here. I'll click to this space separator. So I will make a boundary only from this part. Now. I'll click here to here. So what happens now? Look, this one it's neglect already the other side, right? So the remaining are space so that here we separate them so I can create another space for this area. Again, I'll go to analyze, click space, and I'll create another space. So we have seven space now, it was six before. Okay, second one is zones. Zones is a group of space. So if I want to make it for one building, this uh, one and two, I need to make it zone one, the other one zone two. But over here also, if you click this space, this one is a text. You, you don't see anything in this proper palette. But little zoom out, hover your mouse here. Once you see the boundary, click in here. Then you, in your left side, you can see all the reference. Now I'll zoom, I'll go down a little bit. What you selected here, the name is space. So from here, we can give it the name for the space one. You see numbers over here shows us space number one. The space is over here, it's mentioned. So, you can change from here, space tab with area, by selecting the space, you can change it with, from here, only space tab if you want, space tab. So, most of the time, give it the space name, same as the room name, so it doesn't, it will not confuse you which one, which space it belongs to, which room. Show spacebar. Okay, this is another option again. If you make show volume and press OK, it will show you the volume. And from here also you have with space with volume, otherwise you can make it space tab. This volume, space tab. So go to edit type again, remove the, the volume. Okay. Second, I'll make this two space into one zone. I'll go to uh, zone, click zone. 
so I'll select another room you see once I click zone by default this one is linked it becomes shaded right so I'll click again another space click zone yeah once you click zone you need to select the space one by one add space from here click here just click one and the second one too so it will create the two one and two as one zone then finish so I'll hover my mouse here you see this boundary over here the black boundary this is one zone I'll click in here look this line is one zone and it shows me here a back zone the name over here is name 2 instead of that I'll call it zone 1 this one is zone 1 again I'll make these two rooms as zone 2 so I'll go to zones add space click this one and click the other part this part this one I'll call it as zone 2 by default it's coming in zone 2 then finish it third one I'll click here first click zone then I'll click this part and this one and this part three spaces I'll call them as zone 3 then finish zones okay so if I click this zone over here click here shows me here this is the heat and cooling uh, informations are mentioned here under this zone what do we have here occupied area is this much perimeter and everything is here second I need to click the space one by one so that it can show me what it is now I'll say no I'll hover my mouse to this space click in this so here we go <coughs> Lighting calculation work plane is 462, ceiling reflections uh, 75, and then and, and. you can see it all in all. And the over here, if you have air flows, supply air flow is 00 LS. Now, when you put the air terminal or diffuser there, it will count 230, 150, and so on. Anything you put, it will mention it here. And return airflow is specified. If you have any new specification for return airflow, also we need to mention it here. Specified air, uh, return airflow is here. And this one is the name of this, uh, the space. We go down, condition type, heated and cold. Space type is building. I'll click this tab, I'll click here. <coughs> we can choose from here what kind of this space, the one which is selected. Uh, what kind of room is that? We can choose it from here. Is it building or if it is lobby or any bank customer area for corridor transition, everything, you can choose it here. So if you choose dining area or dining area by default, the setting is here. So area per person, it gives you 1.4 square meter. So um, the heat gain per person is 80.5 watts. This much, this much, everything is given by default there so this is the standard if anything else you need to update you can update it from here again <coughs> electrical loads also same thing people edit you can uh, you have here make it specified if you want to change it number of people it's mentioned 0.77 so you can make it one so it will calculate by one person so area per person gives you here sample 22 square meter 22.2 square meter for one person so based on one person they will it will calculate for all rooms and based on the what kind of window you have what from the sun heat and everything to calculate based on this heat gain per person is mentioned same thing so default if you want to change it you can go to specified and you can change it here then press ok and over down if you go down again design cooling zero watt any information you have regarding of mechanical you can fill it here so so that it will give you the uh, airflow the calculated airflow for instance if it, if it gives you for this room 1000 uh, mm. 
here. Now the airflow here is ls liter per second, right? Mechanical ls liter per second. So for this room, it, it gives you calculated airflow is 1000. Then when you put the air terminal to this room, you will follow not to reach this 1000. Because I will show in the report, I will calculate it, then we will see. It will give us 1000. So one air terminal, if it contains 250 ls, so how many air terminals we can put in this room, you will calculate it. Maybe four or five. So you can put one, two, three, four. When it reaches the limit, then you will stop to add air terminal into the room. And so to calculate these heats and loads, let's see, we go, we go to analyze, click heat and cooling loads. And first we go to details. In these details, you have zone one, zone two, zone three. It shows you how many zones do we have. So it will calculate for these all zones. And if you extract this zone one, in, in this zone one, we have space one and space two. If you want to see which one is zone one, just click this zone one and here it's highlight. <coughs> click this part, then it will highlight for you which one is zone one. These two space one and two. The second one, if you click this space one also, it will show you. Space two, it will show you. But if you click the under one, it will isolate only space two, then it will hide the, the rest. Click, this is space two, this is space one. Zone one is here, zone two is here. Zone 3 is this. Okay, so this service type, we already filled it like that. Building type is office, we chose it from a parking garage. Anything, police station, we can choose it here. So, based on that, it will calculate it. Office. So, location is written Boston, Massachusetts, uh, MA. So, this is for United States. If you click in this area, if there is, if you have any server or internet, you can choose from here the mapping for Qatar. The weather, from here you can change it to Qatar. So if there is internet, automatically, automatically it will calculate the sun heat and so on. So it will give you what kind of uh, load you need or air flows for that room. And ground plane, we have ground floor and first floor. Which one you want to calculate? From here you can mention. I need for ground floor and silver space uh, tolerance. This one is, let me zoom in this part. Did you see here between these two blues, we have a gap. That's the silver space tolerance between one room to another room. For instance, this is the room. So this is the boundary of the room, what we create the space. And this one is the wall. So the, re the next room will start from here. So the space tolerance is, this is the space or so between first room to another room, that's the space tolerance here in the world. So it gives us, which means the narrow part. So it gives us 304. If you give it 200, then the narrow will become smaller. So it will enter inside the wall. So you can fill it here if you need to fill it, but this is the default, you can keep it as it is. And what kind of uh, building service, what kind of system you are going to use, for what reason you need it from here, you can choose it. VAV valve you have, VAV means that variable air volume. volume, right? So for VAV single dance we can use, or you can choose anything if you have from here based on your work. So for now I'll choose this VAV, then let's calculate. When you click the calculate, it will give you the report all. This is how it comes. So project summary. So this is this is one is for total the building itself, uh, latitude, longitude, and building summary is here. Peak cooling total load is this much, twenty nine thousand something. What we need is this one. Peak cooling airflow is two thousand two hundred twenty five for all the building. That's what we need. But go down. We have zone summary also by zone wise. Zone one under zone one. How many space do we have? one and two here zone two space six and seven we have then you can go down now if you want to check for space three just click this space three click that okay when i click okay then the information about space three shown up here so let's go to this peaking airflow over here Picking airflow for space 3, we need 357. 
ls so you don't have to exit from this part now 357 for space 3 close it so which one is space 3 this one so for this area this space this is the space in this area we need to give 357 right so we need to give it that load so we will we will see it now when we put the air terminal for that okay we go to ceiling plan we will place the air terminal mechanical ground floor ceiling plan okay that one we will see it later on let's continue from here now we need to create for this space a uh, fill color you want to give them a legion which one is space one which one is space two which one is zone one and zone two so if you want to create that one just click here color scheme this part <coughs> then <coughs> from here we can choose which one you need zone or space click space then this schema one is sample from here by name or by number you want the legion by number okay so we have seven uh, spaces so from here this schema one you can rename it let's give it uh, space okay then this one also legion i'll give it space one legion okay from here the color you can change it space one what kind of color you want to give it by just manually we can give it uh, space two space rates given okay second one i'll come here edge back zone what if you want by zone wise click this schema one we have three zones the other one is default so from here also you want to rename just click that and this one is rename or right click and rename so type this one zone one and this schema one title it gives you because when you create the zones it will show you here title i will change this one also zone one legion now from here you can change the color then let's see i want i want to give the zone one this color zone two this color and zone three this color so i'll press okay so first i'll click here spaces space one is this one then press okay apply and okay this is our space now look our color scheme becoming space so i can choose another also from by clicking there click these spaces choose it zones zone one apply okay this one is zone wise the other one is space wise so i'll create again the space apply and okay so i need to give them the legion for this space we need to do that one here let's go to analyze color fill legion click this color fill legion and see it's coming one two three four five seven just click here gives us space one is this one space two space three until seven but we don't know what these colors are indicating is this for room name or for legion or for zones so to do that we simply just click here and go to edit type because we need to put the title for that go to edit type search show title over here show title then press ok here space one legion so that every person can identify what legion it is even though if you change it into zones it will change it immediately to zones again space go zones zone one apply have a look zone one legion space okay <clears throat> all right 